there are a few different causes for SI dysfunction and that can be little to no motion. So decreased motion at the joint. There's not much motion at the joint already. It is meant to be a shock absorber between the upper body and the trunk. So when there is motion there, um, it can also be because due to increased mobility. Um, so if there is too much motion happening at the joint, you can also experience pain. This can happen for um, reasons such as hormonal imbalances, such as during pregnancy, you can have some increased motion at that joint. It can also be caused due to injury, such as falling on it. Uh, most of the time, injury is only presented on one side versus the other, and um, it can be corrected through stretches, strengthening, and some manual techniques that we can do here at LSTC, 